Libra. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Libra Tarot reading. Libra, love tarot reading. Libra, love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Libra love messages. Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. As you can see, the Six of Cups just wanted to show itself the Sun and Scorpio energy. So Libra, somebody is thinking about you. There's a very nostalgic energy here within our Six of Cups. Soul connection kind of energy. Could be that you've also known this person your whole life, again, or it's just feeling that way. But this is somebody who has you on their mind. Are they making some kind of plans? Let's continue diving into your reading to see. There can be a reunion energy that comes through. Not really clear at the moment. However, look what is just showing here. Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Sun and Aries energy. This can be around travel, but it's also, well, literal travel, <laughs> I want to say. But it is movement. It's a coming together energy. And it's coming here with the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. So somebody is... Well, somebody is thinking about you <laughs> very clearly and trying to get the courage to reach out. How is it traveling toward you? Message. What's going on? That Ace of Wands. It's like getting this urge. We see them in this nostalgic energy, Six of Cups. And now here in the partnership placement, we have the Strength card in reverse. Somebody who... Yeah, is in a little bit of fear around, it feels like reaching out, but clearly has you on their mind and wants to. Is that the case? Is there just something here we need to know? Nine of Cups, Jupiter and Pisces energy here with the Six of Pentacles, reciprocity. Look, somebody's handing pentacle over and it's coming out of the five of pentacles which is an energy of loss so something here obviously has gone on there is a no contact no communication and or in separation energy for sure exactly to what degree i think that's really specific for you but this person reaching out is obviously wish fulfillment here in our nine of cups by the way the six of pentacles moon and taurus energy Getting over their pride, ego, fear to do that. Let's see what else is going on. Libra, this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. It's a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. All your playlists, Libra, are linked in the description of today's video, as well as here at the Tarot Closet on the Playlist tab. You will also find all signs, tarot readings, collective love readings, all 12 zodiac signs actually, twin flame readings if you're on a twin flame journey, and a lot more, so feel free to explore. Thank you for liking today's video, subscribing, sharing. I really appreciate it. Let's continue on. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see for Libra. Ho. High Priestess Libra. Yeah, <laughs> there's a decision here. Somebody is, somebody is wanting to reach out to you. Revealing what? Feelings? Is there something they have to say specifically? Is there something that they want? Cancer energy. Divine feminine energy. I'll tell you the High Priestess is connected to the Sacral Chakra. I feel. As well as the Third Eye Chakra, I see the Self-Awareness. Somebody here has you on their mind and they are missing you. They're definitely trying to get out of some fear to reach out, to make this decision, to reveal something to you. What are they wanting to reveal? Well, here's an apology. Ten of Swords in reverse. It's actually where their energy is really quite strong. Sun and Gemini energy. 
that's putting the sun in reverse as well, which is a temporary energy. It doesn't stay there, but there's a delay in it. This is definitely somebody also here in the strength card who definitely needs to and wants to apologize and has you on their mind, but there is some fear around it. You can even see it here in our Page of Wands in reverse. It's sort of like a struggling energy to move. But oh, here we go. To reveal some kind of truth, well, an apology, is it connected to something that they didn't tell the truth about? Obviously, by proxy. So I want to say something they just didn't say they held back or did they actually lie about something? What is our page holding on to here? That's definitely an apology. Look, elves are Scorpios, by the way, and they they actually hold back a lot of deep emotions. And as we know, they are guardians of the night. There's a nocturnal energy here. And it's definitely somebody who is waking up or just not going to bed. I kind of feel like they are staying awake literally here till sunrise. So whether they're waking up and staying awake or they just haven't gone to bed, it's somebody who very much has you on their mind who wants to apologize, somehow is afraid to bring this truth around this apology, Queen of Swords in reverse, your energy, Libra. Libra ruled by Venus. And yeah, Eight of Cups. There's our Three of Wands back. So another really strong validation about what they're trying to do, literally to come here and apologize to you. We saw the Ace of Wands coming in, sort of getting inspired, like getting the urge, thinking about you in real life, having a lot of realizations, I feel like, some judgment energy, some wake-up energy, literally in the night, but epiphanies, you know, revelations. And look what it's here with, the Strength card in reverse, in the partnership placement. Why are they afraid? Why are they, why is there fear around them coming here revealing the truth and apologizing. The strength card is connected to the heart chakra, by the way, because it's connected to the eight of cups in the upright, Saturn and Pisces energy. It's somebody who did pull away emotionally around feelings. So that's the other thing. Were they not being honest about how they feel? Were they hiding them? Is this somebody who panicked? Whatever happened here, you know, is going, where this is going is really clear that our page of wands here in reverse is struggling to make this move, the three of wands, which has come back for a second time, the sun in Aries, and that's the sun in the upright energy. It's also a divine number, timing, communication, growth. So they're struggling with that, but you can also see they are making this decision connected to their intuition, of course, with the High Priestess energy in revealing the truth, their feelings, which we can see they're very much in their feelings. They're very nostalgic. So around kind of how you got here, why are they apologizing? The World card and the star, wow. Okay, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy here. I'm coming here with the star, Aquarius energy. Uranus energy. This is the person here coming back in. There's an affinity energy. There's also a lot of healing energy here. It's like time definitely has passed. What is going on here in the world card? It is a completion energy before you move in to the full energy. So another, a new cycle for sure, literally divine number, divine timing. Like the timing here is really strong. It's an energy of you could say learning some lessons, paying off some karmic debts, moving some obstacles along the way, making life-changing decisions, getting here and making them to move forward into the full. So this is definitely somebody who is coming back in. Is them just coming in here a life-changing kind of decision? Why are you not talking or having trouble communicating or separated should that be everything no contact no communication and or in separation or are there some life-changing decisions that are still going on here together 
I do feel like this person has not, due to some ego, they had not apologized. They hadn't, they either didn't respond to a message, like they just kind of ignored it, or they ignored a particular subject, you know? But it's definitely time here for the apology, and it's it's reached this point, literally. Look, the clouds clearing here, revealing our owl who has been holding back a lot. And I, I, I have to say the nocturnal energy, even in the deck today, the Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords in reverse, the High Priestess. It's just the sun going down or up here in our Three of Wands. The World card, the Star. There's a lot of nocturnal energy here. Knight of Wands in reverse. So that is, yeah, an impulsive energy connecting here with this move to apologize. So you might not be expecting this. The reunion energy here isn't always coming through as, as in, you know, sometimes people are just thinking about it and there's the move isn't actually made. They're definitely thinking about it and they're also, there's some movement here going on. So the world card so really, the Three of Wands twice here, but the World card is a really strong validation, our Major Arcana energy here. The World card, the Star, the High Priestess. Also getting out of this Hangman energy, getting the courage to, interestingly, here in the Strength card in reverse. But if you can see this person, if you can actually see them, this can be around actual travel, you know, planes, trains, <laughs> automobiles. Somebody coming from a distance. Maybe it's just a town, state, city. Maybe it's a country, a country across the world. But it's not always about literal travel too. It's the movement towards you. That much is really clear. This is somebody who is literally, there's a getting the courage here to communicate with you the strength card. And it's connected with our eight of swords in reverse, Jupiter and Gemini energy. And that's a sort of like a liberation kind of energy. Somebody who has been stuck in their head, who can't, things haven't been moving, they haven't been communicating. It's like being released from that. I mean, and it's connecting here to our Queen of Swords in reverse. So whatever, whatever they have not been honest about. Here's what's really interesting as well. The Eight of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Cups. That's an 88. And... For me, that is a butterfly energy. That's a new stage energy. So it's telling me that this person is working on clearly getting out of their ego to make this apology and that there are some paradigm shifts here because this 88 energy, this transformational butterfly, en butterfly energy connects me also with the death card, Scorpio energy. There's a lot of Scorpio energy here today. And of course it could be because you're dealing with a Scorpio or it's heavy in your chart or this person's chart, but that's neither here nor there. I wanna tell you for me, this is just really more around the emotions. And this 88 energy, this butterfly energy, couldn't be any more apparent for me than here in the hangman. And that is because this person has been indecisive. There have been power struggles. It's been kind of inactive. Do you know what I mean? They have been as well. They're, they're, you can see they've been in here trying to work things out, trying to literally get out of their pride, get out of their ego, get out of the fear. Because when you get out of the hangman energy, you go into the death card and you get out of your ego. And there are some paradigm shifts. So some things that need to change around you, your personal life, and also here today, this person coming in, what's, what else is keeping them from coming here and communicating with you? So they're getting out of their pride and their ego and going into that death card energy and coming in here without it to make this apology. And it's a, it's a pretty healing energy. It's something that I feel like you've really needed to hear where things are going from here, it's hard to tell. I'm going to bring in some more energy here because this is the future. And we see that there's also, there's been fear and not communicate, no communication around this relationship. However, you got here, whatever happened, why are they apologizing? But the world card is connected to the root chakra. And when that is centered and when that is balanced,
you know, you're, you are getting out of fear, getting out of shadow, getting out of ego. And yeah, not being afraid to make decisions to move ahead in the, into the future, you could say, the world card. And that's around some really big life-changing decisions. So it could be around somebody that needs to literally move, you know, from a city, state, country, again, maybe across the world, move away from something. So taking us back into that death card energy as they get out of the hangman, some big changes, some things that need to end or change or transform around their personal lives in order not only to apologize, but where does it go from the apology? Is this just an apology? Is there something more coming in? Because when you get out, yeah, look, not being honest, broken promises, Knight of Cups, more Scorpio energy, broken promises, Scorpio and Pluto energy. Because when you get out of the world card, you go into the Fool, Aquarius and Uranus energy, you know, and it's another chance. It's a, it's a fresh start. So it's sort of like, it really is, there's strong judgment energy here for me today because it's like, is this reconciliation or closure for you? And this is also really clear coming through in our high priestess energy of trusting yourself and your, and your intuition, your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels and going in the direction that is right for you. So whether this apology, which does feel kind of impulsive how they're coming to you, whether it's at an actual event, if you can see this person or via message. So whether this apology kind of puts complete some of this energy and you both move on or it's sort of resurfacing this past energy and you're able to reconnect and move forward is something that really does come down to the two of you. You have free will. This person has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will. They do change. The future is not fixed. With that said, <laughs> I do want to continue bringing in some more energy. It feels like there's still some more, there's still more that needs to be revealed here before we move into Oracle. There is the death card. Here it is. And it's in reverse. It's stagnant. So, I mean, it's just really clear because, again, when you get out of the hangman, that's where you go. You make these changes. You get out of your pride and your ego to apologize. Strength card in reverse. They are in their pride and their ego. They're trying to get out. And because it's been taking so long, whether it's just their ego and pride or there's something else altogether with our Eight of Swords, which can sometimes connect to legal stuff. Real specific message, not for everybody. Whatever the case is, it is a really strong validation that it's been stagnant. And there, and it might, it might even be really surprising to you who this person is that they are reaching out. They definitely have you on their mind and are wanting to apologize here. It does feel sincere, but it does feel like it's been a really long time coming. There are some broken promise promises here. It's really heavy on the emotions for me today really, really heavy just around what they've been holding back. So the Ace of Wands is back and it's in reverse and it's with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Sun and Virgo energy here with the Ace of Wands, just a really strong validation of the delay of that things have not been worked out. It's just incredibly strong. We are going here also into 888 with our Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords in reverse, and Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And that's somebody who is stepping up, who's taking responsibility. This is all around, this is this for me is all around an apology. I do want to mention it could it could even be for some of you that. Part of kind of how you got here may it may have been connected to somebody you could say having some kind of vices, you know, maybe a little bit of overconsumption, which may have led to 
some kind of arguing. Now that's really, really specific, but it is here. I also do want to mention, it might even be that there's still some kind of discord around even the apology. It, it is a sincere apology, but it's really clear that things aren't worked out here either. And that there's still, yeah, there's still some hurt that's going on here. Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, <laughs> this is just so clear that it is around an apology, I have to say. that's This is your energy, Libra, Saturn and Libra energy. It's in reverse. And this is around the heartbreak, the loss, the separation, the breakup, you know. Swords, they're transactional. They're around clarity, communication, truce. Obviously, there was some dishonesty here. There may have been some third party in the way of people, of course. A lot of the third party energy that I'm feeling here in today's reading is around this person and what they've been holding back, emotions, clarity, truth, all of that. But this person from the past who has you on their mind, who's also, it's just really clear that this person who has been really stuck, even receiving the apology, it's been delayed, it's been stagnant, is wanting to step up and make this apology. They want to take responsibility. This is somebody who wants to take responsibility and get out of their ego and get out of their pride and whatever fear has been holding them back from apologizing. They're trying to figure out how to come in here with it, the Page of Pentacles. It's around, yeah, what they have to say. It's coming here with the Three of Swords in reverse. It's a really strong apology and okay look what it's coming here with judgment is here and this is will you forgive me energy and this wake up energy has been clear from the beginning both around literal wake up waking up in the night i have to say it's somebody who's really having a revelation who's realizing how sorry that they are and how much they owe you one but of course the wake-up energy is the judgment energy connected to the crown chakra i know i actually hear that i know i know this is archangel gabriel who is connected to the sacral chakra just like our high priestess here i feel as well as the third eye chakra like the high priestess here i see wake up get some clarity Make a decision. What do you want? Apolo apolo I want to apologize. I want to be honest. I need to be honest with myself and truthful with myself and get out of this fear and ego. And then I need to come here and be honest and clear with Libra. Libra, it's here with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And this is the disappointment that's been going on here, the letdown energy. What happened? There's some broken promises. So had you planned on taking things further, Ace of Cups can be around marriage proposals, relationship energy can be a lot of things, you know, going exclusive, introducing to families, marriage, building a life, building a life around family, you know, blending families and of course, it's not just about family energy because that's real specific and it's specific to you. And I mean, we could be talking legal contracts or not, you know, fur babies, whatever. The point is, there's a disappointment here and they want to apologize literally for that. It's, it's exactly what we see here for breaking promises. They're, they are very much in this past energy, this person from the past. For some of you, it goes back pretty far. Not for everybody. It could be like not really, really far, but it doesn't feel super recent either. But it is somebody who, again, who's literally waking up in the night and also waking up in general and wanting to apologize to you. And I want to mention that that's also for you because obviously it's about the both of you. And because it's this person from the past coming in here and for you, for both of you, really, it's lover's card energy for me because I, I still feel that there's something here, but it really is, is this reconciliation or closure, you know, is this person coming in 
is this apology, which is a really strong apology. It's sincere, it's needed, and yeah, I mean, it's really culminated to exactly the energy that's been coming through. Ten of Swords in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, why they're apologizing, the fact that that hasn't been worked out, why they haven't apologized, that it's coming. And then it's just a matter of what do you want? Get clear with yourself. And yeah, be honest with yourself about what it is that you want. If you're just wanting some kind of closure here and trusting yourself and your journey and making the decision that's best for you. Page of Cups, okay. Yeah, oh gosh, look at that. So there is the energy that I was Whoa. feeling. That camera makes me bonkers. <laughs> I sure hope it picked up the cards I just turned over, I think it did. In any case, I was feeling that there is still something here between you, but there's obviously, it's complicated, you know, and for some of you, it's been a long time and they're really, it's not as easy as just somebody trying literally to get the courage to come in here and apologize for this. Look, 10 of pentacles in reverse. It does feel like there's more behind it. There's conversations to be had. There's truth to be revealed. There's time. There's healing energy needed. It, it doesn't feel simple, but obviously you still love each other. There's still feelings here, but we're also looking at the Two of Cups, as you can see, Venus and Cancer energy. So here, there's the other thing. The letdown energy here, the broken promises, is it here now? Because this can be around things like proposals and big romantic gestures here with the Page of Cups trying to figure out how to come in. So one of the things that they are doing that's been clear is they're apologizing, but they're also revealing feelings here, Six of Cups, Two of Cups. So the truth is, I still love you. It's a really strong, I don't deserve you, but I want you energy, I have to say. So do I think they're coming in here with a ring? I don't think they're coming in here with a ring, but I really think that this is this energy of what are the future possibilities for us? Where are we going from here? Because all roads, you kind of keep, all roads lead back to you and you're kind of leading, the roads are leading you back to each other here in the star, the two of cups. It's strong around this person, but it's also strong for you. For some of you, there is distance. There are other really big changes that need to happen. That's clear around this person, but it can also be both of you, or maybe that's for you, that's your energy. Whatever the case is, this ton of pentacles in reverse, Mercury and Virgo is a strong validation of this broken promise energy. So whether you had built a long-term partnership, you were building it or it was on the table, clearly something happened. This is like conflicting energy, you could say things coming apart, things stopping, things not moving. So that's just a really more validation as if we need it because it's just already very clear around why they're apologizing. But we can also see that they are wanting to be honest with you and apologize, but they're also wanting you to know how they feel. They're very much in their feelings in this Six of Cups energy. They've been holding on to the truth of how they feel, I feel like, for way too long. They've been holding on to the apology for too long. But somehow, despite all of this, you're both still here. You're both very pulled to each other. Soulmate energy is quite high. Twin flame energy is here. It's I know it's not for everybody. Not everybody cares or believes or whatever. <laughs> you know, take what's for you. If it's for you, I just want you to know it's here. If, you know, and pick up the messages that are yours. And if you're wanting to really dive into your Twin Flame journey, if you are on one, I definitely recommend you check out the Twin Flame readings because they're, they're, they're yours, you know? So you will find readings there that will strongly resonate for you. In any case, obviously there's still feelings here. This apology is sincere. And where, what are the future possibilities? Where do we go from here? It's really strong. Judgment, the world card, the star, the high priestess, the two of cups. I love you. I love you too. 
And again, the apology is a long time coming. It's necessary here, but it's not the only thing. It does feel like it's a little bit, maybe a lot more complicated than that. And for some of you, there's definitely a distance here. Like a, a really substantial distance. And th th again, that's also a feeling of just being distance. You could say mentally, spiritually, emotionally, but for some of you also physically. Oracle. I wanted to mention as well, with our Three of Cups in reverse and our Three of Swords in reverse, that, yeah, there definitely could be, it could be that on either side, there have been some third-party influences around friends or family too. It might even be just that they're kind of around the energy now as well. And if you can see each other, it could get, you know, there could be other people around and, and get emotionally intense, I want to say. However, this Three of Cups in reverse, it's Mercury and Cancer energy, and that's Mercury, you know, it's communication and it's cups, it's Cancer, it's emotional. So it's also telling me that there was some kind of emotional conversation connected to when things were ending or just some kind of discord, like kind of how you got into the Three of Swords in the first place. Whether it was in person or SMS, through social media messages, email, whatever, maybe even phone calls. So I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. Let's see what else is coming through Libra. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards, Aho. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. So our bear is coming out of hibernation. What do they do? They come out and they go and, and hunt <laughs> intuitively. That's what they do. They follow their intuition. This is what they're doing. All roads lead back to you. Look, wake up, judgment. This bear, mm. wow, <laughs> it's woken up. It's connected here also to the world card, the star. All roads lead back to you, the affinity, the intuitive energy also here of the high priestess and what they want to do, what is long, long needed here. But maybe a surprise because it is kind of an impulsive energy, whether you see them or there's just a message coming in. It's somebody you still have feelings for who still has feelings for you, but it does feel really complicated. And just the fact that it's one of, if not the most intuitive, instinctive animals, I want to say next to the wolf as your first oracle coming out, <laughs> you know, ready or not, here they come kind of energy. Oh, look, and there it is, the lover's card, the decision, the decision. Where do we go from here? Reconciliation or closure? What does the future hold? I love you. I love you too. The yin-yang energy, of course, this is Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing what is broken here with our three of swords in reverse, Gemini energy, Venus, the planet of love. And of course, the lover's card is connected to the heart chakra and Archangel Raphael as well, but also connected to the throat chakra. I love, I speak. I love you. I still love you. I'm thinking about you. I know I owe, I've owed you this apology for a really long time and, and I'm I'm coming here to make it. And <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Where are you at? Obviously, the feelings here have not dissipated. Kindred spirits coming down here. Look, lover's card, kindreds, and two of cups. Of course, there's an owl. <laughs> this is the deck that we're reading from today. And a lot of this is around the emotions. Again, owls, they're really hyper-focused on keeping predators away, getting food, sus sustenance, I guess. And their owl person, 
our guardian of the night connected to the divine energy, they are Scorpios and they do hold back a lot of emotions, you know. They work through the night too. And I tell you, this is what's been really strong here. Look, wisdom, the wisdom gained, of course, with the owl, a, a wising up energy, which is connecting us right here, <laughs> kind of underneath the apology, one of the apologies and the hangman energy. That's what they're doing in there. And getting ready to come out with some paradigm shifts and also the information here just in the night with themselves and the six of cups and this nostalgic energy yeah again revelations wake up energy in the night but around this person wake up call intuition wisdom the information the downloads coming here from the star energy the high priestess oh my gosh yeah it's really clear. And they have held back, not just the apology, but yeah, a lot of the feelings. Some, something's stagnant and somebody's not owning up to something or they're not apologizing or you're just not communicating and you never really get any resolution or closure. You just don't know. So that's something that also I feel like really needs to be revealed here with our high priestess energy. And that's it. <laughs> Look at this, the voice, two of you here having a conversation, a decision needing to be made. Where are we going from here? So the voice, it's connecting us to King of Swords energy, Ace of Swords. It's a lot of communi communicative energy, the throat chakra. So of course, it's connecting us to the Hierophant, interesting, the counterpart to the High Priestess, the Magician, the Wheel of Fortune. Things changing, it's time to have this conversation. You're both here, look at this, making a decision together and you're on the world here, which is the world card, which is here. Life-changing decisions being made. And maybe some of that is just even to come in and say everything here that's needing to be said, but I feel like it's going beyond that in terms of the future. Where are we going from here? Judgment, the star, the world card, the high priestess, the two of cups, the lovers. Oh my gosh. Six of cups, kindred spirits, intuitive, three of wands. So this hopeful, hope energy, it's actually wanting to connect here with our star, clarity, renewal. And look, the conversation is going here with a lot of this past energy that has not been worked out clearly in a lot of where the hurt resides or what it's around. Yeah, the hope for the hope for renewal, the clarity, the fact that you are still pulled together. There's still a lot of feelings between you, but obviously, you know, there's more to it than that. We there's a lot of things going on in order to come together. Should that be the direction you're wanting to go. So the mother card is here. This is connecting with the high priestess. Taurus energy, also bringing in you Libra, connecting with Venus. You both share Venus, the planet of love. And that empress energy around timing, this person coming in here being honest, opening up emotionally and really wanting, this is somebody I feel who wants to resolve things and reconcile and make decisions for the future, not somebody who's just coming in to say they're sorry and move on. Where you're at, I feel like is not as clear because it, it could be quite a surprise to you even what's going down here, <laughs> you know? But this mother energy, you know, com whoa, coming in here to nurture the possibilities here the fertility the new beginnings that the eggs which could be really literally connecting with future possibilities again around family or building a life together but the empress energy of new beginnings you know abundance fertility new beginnings is really strong i do want to mention if you Three of Swords in reverse, Ton of Pentacles in reverse, and the Mother energy, that all this Gaia energy and healing energy could be around for some of you family and parenting energy that maybe you were already in that or heading toward that. So it's definitely here for possibilities, but 
that might be really resonating for some of you because the, the energy is pretty strong. So the last two oracle coming in are potential and guarded. Yeah, so there is like just kind of wait a minute here. You can see there is a, a third eye energy and the awareness I see. It's, it's bringing in the high priestess energy, the death card, the moon, the hermit energy, getting clarity, getting truth, kind of being leery. You know, it's also connecting with some of that self-defensive energy, seven of wands energy, Mars and Leo. Nine of wands, which I think we saw, didn't we, coming in? In any case, the moon and Sagittarius energy of just kind of, yeah, just maybe taking it slow, just getting really clear about what it is you want, what you need still need to decide and see. There's definitely a decision here for you personally, and I feel like together. And the last coming in is potential. This does connect us to the magician energy, Gemini in Virgo, Mercury energy. By the way, you know, the magician is connected to the solar plexus chakra I do and the throat chakra I speak. So taking this action that we saw them coming in with, with the Ace of Wands, which came back in reverse, the delay of communicating from like, it's like what they, what kind of got things going for them, really you coming into their mind, having a revelation, waking up and realizing their behavior and realizing the apology and going, diving into their feelings. So yeah, the potential for new beginnings, what is here for you? Where do you want to go from here? There is a seed here and it's really clearly here. The lover's card, kindred spirits, two of cups, six of cups. And I just realized, look how they're lining up. Look how they're lining up. I'm wondering if somebody was maybe even denying feelings because there was, oh, there is, I should say, around this person's energy that they were really holding it back. I kind of feel like even from themselves, you know, the subconscious energy and, and yeah, and you as well in some ways for protection, protecting your heart. Potential, kindreds, two of cups, lovers, six of cups, the star, judgment, the world. The high priestess. The tarot closet, channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. Let's see what's coming in. Whoa, that's it. But that was like trying to take over. This is far from over. It's not a very surprising message. I want to tell you the truth. Yes. So around whatever happened here, the stagnancy, what happened? Why are they apologizing? But also how they feel is really clear. Do you think of me too? I cherish your heart. There's kind of like a prove it energy. Yes, I am thinking of you. Look at this. Do you think of me too? Yes, I'm thinking of you. The affinity energy being pulled, both of you like finding your way, maybe at different times to each other is really strong. I want to talk, but I'm scared. Yeah, <laughs> that's the energy that's been coming through. And our our strength card in reverse there also with the three of cups in reverse that's mercury and cancer energy it's communication and you can i mean it's just clear six of cups here thinking about it trying to get over their pride ego fear to come and make the apology to communicate it's definitely happening it's a matter of time here I think of you 24-7. Interesting. Do you think of... I, I think of you 24-7. Do you think of me too? Yes, I'm thinking of you. So much regret right here with the stagnation. The death card in reverse. Also what 
being in their ego and fear, but also the time that passed, but also something that they were afraid to change. That maybe they haven't really quite, they haven't even really changed yet. I don't think completely. I want to talk again. It's here with voice. The reunion energy in the Six of Cups. I really beep <laughs> miss you. So you can see there's a dot, dot, dot there. It's going here on the Two of Cups. This came through really strong and early. I don't deserve you, but I want you. Our meeting was no accident. So that's Wheel of Fortune energy, fate, M met for a reason, destiny, like destiny's intertwined. This is somebody who is seeing you as a soulmate. <laughs> Another validation here of judgment. I'm waking up. It's been a strong energy. They're literally waking up in the night, but this is the wake up energy. Get clarity, make a decision, wake up. What do you want? This person from the past. This lover, you could say, from the past, wanting to come here and make a very big apology. Who is getting these downloads? Clarity and truth, really strong, really strong. And bringing it to you. Wanting more than, this is more than, an, this is way more than an apology. I dream of you. So connecting here also with our star energy. You could say hoping for reconciliation, that things can be worked out. It does feel complicated. I will never give up on us. It's going here on potential. We will be together again someday. I'm sorry I ran. Right there with the Eight of Cups. You have changed me for the better. I still want you. My world changed when I met you. Will you wait for me? I'm sending you telepathic messages. So that's a strong energy here. High Priestess Two of Cups energy, yeah. The emotional flow between you is, is strong. I am so sorry I hurt you, and I am afraid you will reject me. I miss you too. I really beep <laughs> miss you. I miss you too. Look right here that I'm sending you telepathic messages. That's clear. I took you for granted. I don't deserve you, but I want you. I want to talk, but I'm scared. We are soulmates. So this was coming through and it's a really strong validation that they are seeing you as a soulmate. Of course, we have many soulmates in the world, romantic or otherwise, they come and go, connect us to other people and things, come back. This is somebody who's, who is waking up to that energy too, like understanding the connection, realizing you met for a reason and seeing you as a soulmate. Are they ready to change something major? Has something changed? Please forgive me. Really strong energy, obviously, in your reading. It goes beyond that. I think of you all the time. No one compares to you. I was stupid. Beautiful Libra, that's your reading today. Thank you so very much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here, watching with me today, sharing, liking, subscribing to the channel if you haven't. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm sending you love as always, 
and I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, take care, Libra. Bye.